right, in this little area, if you come up for me, um, you can see where the brush has layered things up and left, you know, actual texture instead of what looks like texture. And I'm going to knock some of that down with a dry brush. These are like three bucks. I like to use them for this because they're cheap. And if I forget to wash it out, I don't have to cry. But, um, <laughs> yeah, this will kind of help knock that down a little bit. Helps blend things out. Uh, real soft, real gentle. Bob Ross used to say, three hairs and some air. But, uh, yeah, we're going to knock some of that down. I'm like very gently touching this. Now it's starting to pull paint around. That's alright. For all intents and purposes, we're still in the building stage. Nothing's really happening at the moment. So that's that. Now, this is one of my favorite brushes right here. This little guy is super stiff and very short haired, but it actually absorbs a lot of paint. And I didn't customize it or whatever, this is just this is the way it came and I can't even find another one like it at all. But uh, this is what I like to use for my blending quite a bit. So I'm going to cry when this paintbrush finally just isn't useful. I literally scrub with this thing like I'm angry at it. Should be using a reference. Oh, it keeps fading in and out. It's driving me nuts. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to do kind of like a toothless skull. You know, and a really ancient, old looking kind of job. He's looking kind of clowny in the face. Clowny? Clowny. Yeah, like a clown smile. Oh. Well, it's, uh, death is always smiling at us. <laughs> <laughs> 